the thread um, I measured out to be um, about three times around the shape. That's normally, um, if you use that as a rule of thumb, uh, that's normally how much I need to do my blanket stitch and then the precise amount then really depends on the tension and um, how far you go in with the blanket stitch. But, you know, if you go around your shape three times, that's pretty good. Normally I use this needle here. It's a just a normal needle that I've bent into a nice curved shape which makes blanket stitching really easy. But because um, I'm going through some pretty thick felt, you can see there's several layers of construction in some places. I'm actually going to use this special needle. Let me give you a, um, a close-up of that. So this particular needle um, has a hardened tip. It You can see that it's kind of sawn into a diamond shape and although it's a little bit more difficult to blanket stitch with this um, it's just going to zip through the material especially if you've done what I have done and used a um, kind of uh, rubber cement the standard um, needle will be very difficult to pierce it and you'll find that the holes will be inaccurate so um, bear that in mind the thread I'm actually going to use is, um, it's used for a jean material. I'm not really sure about the weight of this, but it's very inexpensive. Um, there's a roll of it there. And I've just measured out to three times the circumference of the shape. There are some fantastic videos on YouTube, how to do a blanket stitch, but there are some things that I'd like to point out that I think you may find useful. Um, doing this. So I try to make the spaces as consistent as I can and I try to time the spaces such that um, they work at the smallest unit. So even little pieces like this, um, you can see that this is sort of one, two, three, four. So the rhythm and the spacing work at the at these kind of small pieces so that these don't look odd. You know, this thing actually does fall in the middle. And it's okay to uh, vary them, including like the spacing here between the stitch and space from the edge to the hole. When you are doing a corner radiuses, so if you need to go a little bit tighter just to make it crisper, that's okay. As long as it's consistent with the other side, it can actually look quite cool. Some people prefer it just to be consistent. It's really up to you. And then in some other places, like for instance here, you could see that I've opted to move the hole sort of more towards a position where this comes into an angle um, 90 degrees to this uh, to this bend here, so that it better um, you know this thread better moves out to the to the next hole. It's okay to even go quite tight, like here I've gone tighter. Um, you can pull on the thread even more, it will buckle and warp it. It will make it look more handmade and you will use less thread um, if you want that if you want that look. A couple of other things to note, when I do my blanket stitch I make sure that the um, material is on a um, I'm actually conducting the stitch on a flat surface rather than stitching in the air. That will make sure that when you punch through the hole that it's more likely that you are perpendicular to the material and therefore the material won't shear and move around so much. Okay, so let's take a look and see how this went. A couple of things you'll notice. It's okay to go back in through the same hole again, like I did here, in order to get a nice apex. There I decided that rather than run the stitch vertically straight through the top and possibly squeezing that point, I decided just to go either side of it and I came back in, in and out of the same hole. You'll notice that if I turn this all in profile, that blanket stitch is pretty much um, exactly where it needs to be, which is between the two pieces of material. There's not too many gaps. It looks like it's done its job. It's certainly pulled it together. It's not too slack, but then it's also not warped either. Um, so I think there's the right amount of tension, at least for me, um, on this piece.